The United Shore Professional Baseball League out of Utica is in an interesting situation when it comes to their season. The independent league is trying to navigate the COVID-19 shutdown and could be one of the first sports leagues to reopen. 7 Sports reporter Justin Rose has more. The United Shore Professional Baseball League was supposed to kick off its season last Friday with opening day, but as we all know, sports is at a standstill. And while they're trying to tackle this like everyone is, with patience, they also want to be a blueprint for how to get sports back in action. When you think about an 82 degree summer night in Michigan and for whatever reason we couldn't play a game, I mean that would just be a travesty. Jimmy John's Field is home to four different teams under the US PBL umbrella and for the past four years the growth in support has been off the charts as the small business model for sports entertainment has blossomed in Utica. Even if we're able to play with a third of the fans, it'll still be great. We'll still have those thousand charities that will be able to leverage our ballpark. We'll still be able to have two or three hundred uh, game day associate jobs. I mean, the economic and social impact that we make in this community is just staggering. CEO and owner Andy Appleby says the league isn't in danger of folding should they not be able to open the gates at all in 2020. But he also looks at the league opening in some fashion as a blueprint for other leagues, something that was a part of their 216-page COVID protocol they passed on to the governor's office as they eye something no other league has, a mid-June return. Our players are ready and willing to be here. From the dialogue we have had is they're, they're ready to go and we're not going to put them in a situation where we feel like it's uh, unsafe or unhealthy for them to be in there. So, you know, we're going to do our part and we're going to make this decision with the best facts that we have, obviously. We're that perfect environment to do that because of all the flexibility and control we have. We are speaking to the governor about that very same thing, like, hey, she, she could be part of um, you know, reopening sports, if you will, and doing it in a very safe uh, manner. And Appleby went on to tell me that when the players do return, they're going to keep them in dorms, either at Oakland or at Wayne State, to keep them in a controlled environment so that they make sure that health and safety is still number one on their priority list. In Royal Oak tonight, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports.